very rare shot for me to be on the grouse more, but shooting down on stuff rather than shooting it up on stuff. But the point of a day today is to, to see what goes up on the grouse more and, and have a look at the conservation while we're here. And as you can see, what a marvellous view we've got here. It's absolutely fantastic. And it is just a pleasure to be here, absolute pleasure. A breathtaking view, uh, Jonathan, isn't it, this? I just can't understand why, uh, why it's so controversial when, you know, this is a natural harvest. Marvellous activity for the youngsters to get involved as far as beating, picking up. You know, I know it involves killing something, but it also involves conserving something. Kill one grouse, conserve two curlew. You know, that's how I look at it, because there's, there's money being pumped in to do that. I don't see anything wrong with it at all. Unbelievable. What an operation. People don't realise the, the amount of money and the, uh, the effort that's put into these days. Cocktails? Yeah, lovely. <laughs> oh. I'm sticking with um, with my normal Miracle MK38. Uh, it's got three quarter, three quarter, but I'm only picking good long crossing birds or behind the next man's butt. I'll, I'll wait while he's at a shot and if he's missed it, I'll pick it at back of him. But these grouse will they'll come over that uh, that hilltop at, at great speed, and obviously I've got to be on my metal, take one as quick as I can, and my second shot more than likely will be over the top and a safe shot to the rear. As always, any proficient shot will find where to put the gun, and it's just a, a matter of uh, judging the speed of the bird. Uh, keeping the gun on it, making sure you're safe, especially with grouse shooting, there's a lot of safety aspects in it, more so than in pheasant shooting. One of the controversial things about uh, grouse shooting and the organisation of it is uh, there's a lot of management on the moor. Uh, there's a lot of heather burning goes off. 
and people think that this is destroying habitat. In fact, it's creating it. You've only got to look at a moor that isn't managed against a moor that is managed, and you'll see a dearth of wildlife on the, on the unmanaged moor outside of the moor that is managed. It's totally wild, <coughs> but it's a managed wildness as well. And I think it's, it's all for the good of, uh, of the countryside and for Britain uh, you know, itself, for the country itself. How old are you? 14. 14? 16. 16. Who's oldest then? I'm almost 17. 17. And how old are you? 14. 14. So you're all sort of 13 up to 16, 70 year old then, yeah? Oh, Did you enjoy coming here? Oh, I love yeah, it. Right. Yeah. Love it, yeah. Are you still schooling, are you? Oh, okay. School holidays for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you like about it on the moors then? Everything. Just Everything. Being out here. Yeah. The experience of it. You Good lad. Well. You look like you were training to be a keeper. Is that your ambition? Not really, no. Estate management, that's what I'm Oh, good lad, yeah. Are you a local as well? Yes, from Middleton, yeah. Right, yeah. So, what do you think to the day then? Has it been a good day for you? You've seen plenty of grouse? Yeah, there's been plenty of about. Yeah. Too many midges like that, aren't we? Hey, there's a lot of midges, a lot of midges today, lad, isn't there? There is, that's the only thing. Have you got your spray on? My look, he's bit to death. <laughs> do you, don't you get sprayed up? I put a bit on. No oh, deal. Yeah, they've got through with you all, haven't they? Not, not been many black grouse about, so... Really. Haven't they? Yeah, why is that then, do you think? I'm not sure, really. It's been, yeah. Maybe it's been killed off because of the snow or something, but... Yeah. It, spot, have, they had, have they had a bit of a hard winter up here, them yeah. black grouse? Yeah, yeah there was a, maybe, there's maybe been a few more grouse yeah. the frost killed them off, I think, so... Well, yeah. well have a, have, enjoy the rest of it there, lad. Hello, well done. You. Good lad. Dead, dead, dead. Ooh, the vans. One thing about uh, shooting, it attracts a lot of uh, people from uh, as young of age as four or five year old up to the age of 70, 80 year old. And uh, I've got the keeper's wife with me today and uh, I think she can verify that uh, there's all age groups involved in grouse shooting. 
it, I know it gets vilified by certain uh, aspects of the yeah. media, but it's um, been a wonderful day and thanks for putting it on for us. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, background work, of course. Uh, this, it's a 24-7 job. Uh, you, were, you were married to the keeper, and so you were, you were fully involved. Yeah. Um, what's, uh, what's your views on you know, what's going off in the media at the moment? This vilifying grouse shooting, they're trying to get it banned. Yeah, people just don't understand. Yeah. They don't understand what goes on, they don't understand the benefits to it, they yeah. don't understand all these young children that were out today. Yeah. Earn a little bit of money before they go they're back all, to school. Yeah, this out is of what, trouble. Yeah, this is what we've said today. They're all earning, uh, earning pocket money. Doing a, a day's work, and I think this is a the, you know this is a way to, to bring children up. You know, there's nothing wrong with the country life or the country sports, and if we can encourage more and more people into this uh, type of life, I think we're giving our children a better background and a better upbringing. Upbringing, really. You know, is, is there any other bodies involved in them all that that you know of that do actually lend a hand? No, we just get a lot of people up, a lot of local people come up at different times of year, yeah. so helping out with butting and grading yeah, and things and like they're that. lending their time yep. free of charge, of course, or yeah, doing, it for, out, doing yeah. it for a bit of pocket money. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's one thing about, as I say, the country sports, it encourages more and more people to get involved and keep fit. One thing I've noticed, some of these, uh, <laughs> these young lads... Yeah, they're very fit. They're, they're very fit, you know, and some of the old boys are, are keeping fit. They're not, they're not visiting hospitals. You know, because they are so fit, and this is a healthy style, healthy kind of life that we should be encouraging. You know, we shouldn't be vilifying it all the time, listening to idiots on the bloody, on the TV, telling us, telling our children what they should do and what they shouldn't do. Let's have more people involved in yeah, getting, out get, in yeah, getting out in the in, in the wilderness, and and this is what should be going off daily. We should we should encourage it, not discourage it. Anyway. Thank you for a, a lovely day, and I'll well, uh, I'll try my best to uh, do justice to the, those grouse tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Pan fried, is that what you said? Pan fried. <laughs> one more, one more,